Hello ladies, I'm Jennifer Ganyan and I'm here to testify how God has blessed me and made me a blessing. God's word tells us that God blesses us so that we will be a blessing. Back in 1959, my parents, Donna and Jim, had eloped. And so here it was 50 years later without them ever having a proper wedding. I wanted to do something really special for their 50th anniversary. What can I do to really honor them, I wondered. As it reads in Exodus 20:12. Honor thy father and mother. I thought, let's do a beautiful anniversary celebration. I said, mom, whatever venue, whatever menu, whatever colors, whatever cake, whatever guests, I'll take care of it all. I really wanted to honor them and bless their socks off. My mom selected a lovely country club and initially proposed a list of 12 people. As days went by, ladies, the list grew to 24, 36, 50. Not a problem, mom, whatever you want. But then suddenly it was over 100 people. Wow, my head was saying, what? Seriously, I did not know how in the world I would fund this event, but I knew in my heart that I had peace and I knew that I knew, ladies, that I'm blessed to be a blessing. So onward and upward, I went by His grace, His goodness, and His blessing. Miracle after miracle, a provision occurred. At that time in our lives, we were conducting the Great Awakening Tour and living on the road, going from city to city, from state to state, from hotel room to hotel room with two children, winning souls for Jesus Christ. Clearly, it was only by God's hand that I was able to organize the whole event from the road, the signing of the contract, printing and mailing out the invitations, making the phone calls, ordering a three-tier wedding cake, and organizing all the fine details. Everything was coming together beautifully and without stress because ladies, how many of you know, were too blessed to be stressed. I had serious seed in the ground and I was calling forth my harvest. The pressure was not on me. I didn't put any pressure on my husband or anyone else. The pressure was only on God's word to perform because God's word works. Next thing I knew, someone walked up to me during one of the tours and gave me an envelope addressed to me personally. I put it in my purse and opened it later in my hotel room. It was a check for $7,000. Thank you, Jesus. Every bill was covered. In fact, I had a surplus and was able to bless one of the single moms on the tour with $1,000. Once again, I was blessed to be a blessing. At the beautiful anniversary celebration, altogether 112 people attended. God was all over it. The cake decorators all got saved. Many of the country club employees got saved. My parents renewed their wedding vows. I spoke and preached the gospel and prayed for everyone. Between family, friends, the cake decorators, venue employees, over 70 people received Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Ladies, we truly are blessed to be a blessing. My dad, now 91 years old, my mom, 82. This year, they're celebrating their 63rd wedding anniversary, and they still talk about what the Lord did for them on their 50th. 50th wedding anniversary. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for blessing me to be a blessing. And ladies, God loves each and every one of you. And each of you are remarkably and notably and beautifully blessed to be a blessing. God bless you.